Okay, so mom cooking. Today what are you cooking? Vegan chicken and sausage. So you're just sticking the garlic inside. Mm -hmm. You're not putting good pepper? Uh, no, we got putting good pepper. Right. You put oil? So you could also cut it down the center and just stuff it with the garlic instead of putting like slits all over. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that it is enough. She using this little burner on the grill here. Cause you need to roast it on an open flame. You could also do it in the oven, do you know mom? Um, what I'm saying is fry it here, fry it out there. Up to you. You go fry it out there and I'll put it on the thing. So we have salt there. So you just wash an Audi saw? Yeah, yeah. Wash it, it'll have to work here. a little boil before she fries it. Okay. So mom didn't boil it too much because she said um, it do not really need that much boiling. Because you do want to keep a little bit of the salt in there so you don't really add salt to the dish itself. So it's coming along. It should take about 10 to 15 minutes more. How long are you going to fry it? Just until it gets the little brown one. Check roots. It can't stick, Papa. I 
Hey guys, fun. This is it. So how do you look at How do you know when it's fully cooked? Like when the skin get like this and then the bygone itself just gets soaked. Oh. Somebody was saying how when they roast bygone, the inside is be dark, it will be like a nice lightish green color. Well, probably type of bygone or even bygone old. How do you choose the bygone? Yeah, look for, for the skin looking um, like shiny. Not too, yeah, like shiny, so you know it's young. Oh. We are making to eat with this bygone chocan. So fish. Oh, you make bake this morning? Oh. I thought it's some hot salad roti you're making. What do y'all like? Do y'all like bus up shot, salad roti, fry bake, pot bake? What do you like to eat all your bag and choke with? Salad roti, but I mean bake, so. You have eat it with rice? Yeah. You have eat it with rice? Yeah. We used to make a long time with rice. Oh. Pumpkin and rice. Pumpkin and rice. Yeah. That's fine. She's flaking up the saltfish. Mm -hmm. So you get a lot of views on your last video. And um, plenty of people leave comments there. Yeah, I read um, Camille, Mother and a lot of others. And I went through a lot And somebody was saying how they either their mom or grandmother used to also fry dove. Fry dove, yeah. And they yeah. used to go in the rice land. Yeah, I think I read it. They used to put salt or something. Yeah, I read, yeah. I read that too. I'll probably go back and read them. So then somebody say you're a real grassroots person. <laughs> yeah, I like simple things. Long time. Yeah, we're a very simple family, I think. We do. I don't think we're too extra. Well, we're probably extra to some people. Yeah. But nothing wrong um, in being any how you are. You had to be your own person. Yeah, this is what has made me comfortable. I feel comfortable in, what I, in my simpleness. Anyway, thanks to everybody who comment, who left a comment. Much appreciated. <laughs> the next video, hopefully, we'll get some names. So I'll print out a list for you to read. Yeah. Mommy, bad with names. So to remember people's names. Not really. Now, if I had watched all the names, I would have remembered. Um, YouTube. But why I remember Camille? <laughs> what going on with you, Gail? Why I remember Camille, um, mother, because I, you know, I, I saw them, they came by. Oh. Kathleen. Yeah. Mm, yeah. She real pretty boy. Camille had posted a picture, she, for her birthday. The mother? Yeah. Yeah, Hi, Crazy. What you do with your remote, Papa? Mm -hmm. What? What? Nothing. Tell them you got one of your vaccines today, your 18 month vaccine. And the next time you go in doctor is in six months when you turn two years. Best I send your tail trend with your grandmother. You wanna go trendy with your grandma? You want to go and relax on lime on the beach? Yeah, yeah, I'm a whole nah, I can't. I can't send them. Long time when Kevin was small, his mom, mom used to send them Trinidad by their grandparents, by Ma and Pa, and by his nanny. And I lived with Kevin. Yeah. Small. But I don't think I could. I could part with Cruz. 
And babysit Kevin probably. Kevin used to be there without his, mo no, without no, his no, mother no. and father. Of course. He used to come over by me. Best thing I have to say, I'm going to go. Where the broom? She said Kevin wanted to sit down in the road. Where the broom? Where the broom? Yeah. Good thing I didn't have plenty cars back then. No, back then I was from the taxi driver, seven and two charities. And how old he was? I would say probably about three. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Cruz, you're about to look at bad like your father. Mm -hmm. Even though his RG, which is Kevin's mom, he said, she said that Cruz wicked just like Kevin when and he, he was said small. And grandma didn't run over and come by me. And she said be looking for him. Hmm. Because she know where he was. Because he He's already Kevin twin, so he might take after Kevin. <laughs> yeah, and mommy talk about you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um what other stories you have for we? <laughs> tell we okay, choose one and tell we. I tell me these to tell me stories. What stories? Who's your favorite child? Well, I have a favorite. <laughs> yeah, right. All parents no, have a favorite. I remember, um, Uncle Robin asked me, say, say, um, say, you know, all the Indian women that have, um, favorite, um, child. favorite child. Who's your favorite child? I said, I probably might not like the answer. I will give you. I said, I don't have any favorite child. Or oh, my child brings something different into my life. Hmm. And I started to tell him, um, I started to tell him about everybody, what everybody brought into my life. And he was so surprised that I didn't have a favorite one child. Like I had certain things about all my children to say about them. That was anything for all my children. So if it was like that, then I don't think so. I don't want it to be like that. Who is, who is your favorite grandchild? <laughs> who is your favorite grandchild? You do business. Yeah, Um. what else we could ask you? What age you get married? At um, 18. Whoa. Anyways, I get married at 20 or 20. I get married at 20. I got married at 19. I got my license when I was eight and a half months pregnant with Nari. Oh. I got my license and, um, with Big Belly. April and I have Nari and me. Oh. Yeah. He opened it. <laughs> so, as old as Nari is, is how long I have my license. One, so, mommy had a lot of problems too with in laws. So, I wouldn't say it's a problem. I will always say whatever happened is what brings me to the point I am in now, which is a good place. And if I didn't go through all what I went through, I wouldn't be in this place. So whatever I went through, it was to bring me in this place where I am now, which is a sense of peace, and I wouldn't give up that thing. So okay. everybody had a part to play and bring me into this place, whether it be a good part or a bad part, but I'm in a place where I, I want to be. So tell us about your children, like how was childbirth and how was pregnancy? Oh, well, well first pregnancy was Nari, I didn't know anything. Which was your worst pregnancy? The Mine. Worst pregnancy? Mine. Well, not really yours. I would say the first one because oh. I didn't know anything and I was real sick for Nari for months. Wasn't eating. Wait, and you went to Mount St. Benedict when you couldn't get pregnant? Well, they say I couldn't get pregnant. I don't know, but um, great grandma came to St. Benedict um, for, uh, for one of the um, priests to pray for me and what he gave me some, well, they say sweet oil back then. Yeah. Yeah. Does, um, Olive oil. Olive oil. Yeah. yeah. And he tell him, no. He said, okay, um, next time you come in, you'll bring the baby. <laughs> so this was in June. This was in June, July, 
August, I got pregnant with Nari. Oh. And had Nari. Um. And had Nari in me. So, I don't know if you all know this, my mom is a therapist, a massage therapist. But, um, other than what you learn in school, you learn, like, things from your grandmother. Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah, learn how to pull, shake belly, um, how to... Shake the baby in the belly to move them. And a lot of people if came belly, by you and get pregnant after, right? If the, be if the belly drop. Mommy knows how to fix your belly so that you could get pregnant so that you well, won't I don't know if, if <laughs> I, I mean I rub them and they get pregnant but I wouldn't take credit for that it could be their body could be, um, it could just be they needed uh, relax will, yeah, like yeah. to I release mean, tension in their body all those things yeah. but I do believe in but that a lot of people just tell me like they'll call and say you know after you massage me uh, I get pregnant I say I always tell them I say everything have a time you know, and when you when it is the right time, it will happen. I have never advertised to anybody. Anybody who come by me is because somebody, somebody tell them they came and they felt good. And yeah, she does not advertise. I advertise it's to anybody because my business is a very, it's very. Small. It's by word of mouth. Yeah. Very because small. you attracted some bad clients before, mm -hmm. so you don't want that type of clientele. Mm -hmm. You want. People who actually want to get healed, not people who looking for entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Um, what else? Maybe it's talking about pregnancy. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I think now because I didn't know what was happening. Where did you have him? What is it? When I was getting, when I got pregnant, Nari, I didn't know. And my stomach was hitting, and um. I thought I had Nara. Right, that's how the name come. Yeah, yeah. I thought I had Nara. So, and, and I'm going to my doctor. I went to my doctor, he told me I was pregnant. So guys, how come Nari got his name? Because we put his name Nara. Oh. Nara. But that's not his real legal name. No, he's called him that. We okay. put the name Nara and everybody started to call him Nari for sure. Oh. So wait, yeah. we're doing these videos but nobody know your name. Well, a lot of people don't know your name. So what is your full government name? Full government name? <laughs> yeah. Ahelia Ganga. Maiden name Ahelia Singh. Singh. Yeah. yeah. I'm proud of my Singh. Singh is king. So why did you change your name then if you like it? I don't know back then. It was hard back to... Back then you thought that was like, you know. Like you, had to, take your like you had to take your husband name. And back then with grandparents and things being around, you had to do that. Yeah. Um, you so have been own way if you didn't do that. So wait, my, so my parents, they lived opposite each other. Mm -hmm. So they grew nah, up basically nah. together. Not yeah, really. Oh, okay. I never knew them. Because really. you saw so you were getting... My family in Sandy Grandi and I used to be my aunt and them in Mova. Oh, okay. There. With my grandparents and them sort of in shop. Well, we have plenty of stories for you, but we don't want to make the video too long, so yeah. eventually we'll tell all the stories. Yeah, so Nari was born for Spain. Isha was born Shogones, opposite. I hear this quarrel. He does quarrel about us. Um, Mandy was born no, right Shogones. Here too. She does cuss about us. But yeah, I had a bad experience with Isha there, but then the doctor say he sent me back right there because. I didn't have no complications. Why, man? Did you don't like that? You got a story again? Why? That method. Because as you tell, she born in the market. Oh, oh market. okay. Yeah, so she, she was like, And you was born at Ossenville. Which is now a mall. Which is now Ossenville Mall. Ossenville Mall. Ossenville is now West Shore. Um, well, all the, all the doctors moved to West Shore. Yeah. But why did you have me in Ossenville? Because I was doing this in the other time. So mommy was working at that hospital when I she had my nursing course. Thing. Did you finish your nursing course or? Well, yeah, I did, oh. but I didn't um, really stay on because I was pregnant with you. Oh, so because yeah. I mean, you didn't do nursing? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, I finished, but I didn't work. When I started oh. to work, I got pregnant with you and uh, oh. I couldn't deal with oh. working 12 hours night and all them thing, it was kind of stressful. And then you had four pick me when I was born. Yeah. So, but Mandy was already five when I had you, so yeah. it wasn't like, you know. 
so I decided to stay home and take care of you. And then I decided uh, I didn't want to go out for anybody anymore. And then I, I didn't want to go on afterward nights. And so I decided to go into my own thing. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. That's why I have my own business right now. So I could keep, I could take care of her home and I could also work. Not that I have to work, but I want to. Yeah, to keep yourself active. Want to, want to do. Yeah. A lot of people work for that same reason to be social, I, I to stay want active. To because I'm good at what I do, and my plans are me. So. You track your bike, huh? If I'm not there, you like how I hear. You see all the messaging me every day, every day. One plan is to tell me she's taking Panadol until I come back. <laughs> they don't want to go nowhere else. So every day, I have about probably nearly 40 messages. So when if you all, back. if you all are my my mom's clients or you know somebody, maybe you could leave a nice comment for her so she could read it. Yeah, plenty clients. All over. I don't all think you're looking Trinidad. for any more clients right all now. All over Trinidad. I mean, I you have so much. new people, but guys who like recommended by somebody. Yeah. Let's see. Well, like if they see this video. But I don't go looking for clients. All right. Well, we'll do some more stories the next day. So we check out the bike gun. Yeah. So that's how the bike gun looking. The flame not very high, so it taken a long time. But real dirty up. He gr he thing boy. <laughs> he boy now. Okay, mommy, bring the bye gun inside. So let me see how you're doing it. Long time I need a nice bye gun joker. I don't make it because it's burning me on Kevin's stomach. Please get acid reflux because it's a nightshade vegetable. So this one had plenty seed, but sometimes I try to aim for a bygone with a little bit of seeds. Because I've been straight in this bowl. Mm -hmm. I like to use this skinny Japanese eggplant. That does be sweet and nice. For everyone watching from outside of the Caribbean, what do you all use? What type of bygun? I always like using the Japanese one. To me, I could never find a nice aubergine like these. I can't find one of these um, like home. To me, they don't be like home. How you find it compares to home? Yeah, a different. Oh. <laughs> Mister. Hi. Hello. <laughs> So you're just mashing it into the goldfish. So it's real simple. And then she's gonna chunky it after. You put in pepper in it, right? Mm -hmm. Before you put oh, why are you taking out? He do eat pepper. Oh, she taking out that little bit? Yeah, he do eat much. Oh. Checking out food for Rahan without Papa. You don't want to put red Papa. You red. You red? No, the one I bring. Oh uh -huh, no. Okay. Um, just this one. I like this. It has nice flavor. Okay. You red? I've never. But just hot chocolate. Yeah, yeah, okay. What I mean, flavor. Just have a kind of flavor.
So onion in the frying pan, some oil, no garlic. No, oh yeah, garlic, garlic was in the. Garlic. Yeah. What's your absolute favorite vegetarian dish? I like, like a takari. Like a takari. Uh, I like it start talking and hurry up. I'm like, oh, I'm getting choker. 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 Oh, how that meal tastes the other day I make. The plant in the curry, the cabbage with tomatoes. The edus, the edus was the hit. The edus and salt fish in me. Oh, oh, okay. I love edus. I like you have to eat baigan with edus, isn't it? Yeah. Curry baigan and edus. Nah, I just make it just plain. I eat it like that and I put coconut milk in it. Oh. And I eat curry body with edus. I like real nice long time food. What about fig de curry? I love fig de curry. Mm -hmm. 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 the fig tree and Ben? No. Oh, oh. I think so. Oh, oh. Die, die the Come, Papa. Say now, grow back, and then take it. Papa, 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 Papa. You can both? Let me hear. Yeah. Come. Check Zane art. Art wall. Come, Cruz. You better pack that up before you leave. Right, so you see, when the onion get like this, where it's not raw anymore. Mm -hmm. Sure, Jean. Put, put it here now, so I can see the whole. Yes, man, them will like it raw. They will like when the onion is. Mm. Right, so you see, when the onion get like this, where it's not raw anymore. Mm -hmm. Sure, Jean. Put, put it here now, so I can see the whole. It came up mm. there a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, we're going to go for a hand. Yeah. You're not trying to get anyone? Yeah. Yes, sir. Mmm. It's good. It's good. It's my recipe. <laughs> I will add some more pepper to that. I like yeah, I kind of need more pepper. I like plenty of pepper. Mm -hmm. Daddy, this is since he, when he married me, that's when he started to eat pepper. Oh, ah, do you never cook with pepper? Well, we never, probably not as much. He said we sing like too much pepper. Mm. I love my pepper. I can't do without pepper. And Kevin is the same. But Kevin like Bertie's papa sauce. So I like my raw papa and Kevin always have his bottle of Bertie's. The other day he say, he say he want to attempt to make Bertie's papa sauce. Mm. I say if it was that easy. Hey. I say if it was that easy, a lot of people would be doing it. Mm. Yeah. Right, so now it's just time to eat. One, this one? A small one. Like this? Yeah. I don't want too much because I have curry chicken to go and eat. <laughs> I just want half of that. So we warm warming this all this together or warm No, no, because it's warm, right? It's warm, yes, it. Yeah. So this is my pre-lunch. Well, this is breakfast because I didn't have breakfast yet. And it's 2.38. So this is the bygone joker, fry bake, and we're ready to dig in. Okay, I did not bring my tripod, so it's hard to show you, but let me see. Ooh, 
cool it hot. So let me go in. We had to take a piece out of our bird papa too. How it is, um? I see plant in behind you, we could have fried. <laughs> yeah. We forget. Yeah. Well, you hide from cruise. Oh. Not to pull it down. So we pull it down and you Yeah. Mm. 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 But how to get a good papa. The good papa is what makes you nuts. For me, if I could change one thing, it would be I want the raw onion in it. I want that crunchy onion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mandy don't like that. Hi, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. You give mommy her sunglasses. Thank you. <laughs> Watch. You want me to take it? Mommy studying what daddy gonna say when he see the video. He gonna say, but she don't make that home for me. He gonna say, I'm getting all the nice things over there. And when I'm home, I, I have to take out for a show without onion. Because and one really girl without papa. And one girl without papa. Good. All your children has have the problem. Man, you were raw onion. She was showing onion. Actually, I didn't know you. Mm -hmm. You want some? You want some drink? Oh, my God. No, no, no. Yes, no. Chris, what is going on with my living room? <laughs> no, it really looks good. <laughs> I got two on it, though. I went through all the house. All right, well. That's the end of our next video. Mm -hmm. You all wanted our next video with mommy, so she make a little quick thing for it. Yeah. She excited. Yeah. She's the one who say I want to do a bike and joke and selfish video for them. Yeah, because so, I never see nobody do that. Yeah. And I always want to do that. So what you have to see. Oh, well, I don't need my good. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta say thanks for watching, like your video, comment. Why did you do that when one sit under your name, they could do that? No. I gotta tell them nothing. As you, you cook them. Do you have your name out there? No, you cook them. As you. She tried to say she don't need to advertise. I don't need to advertise. Also, I need to advertise myself. Okay. Point taken. <laughs> Alright, well, later. Mm hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go come up with, with all the rest of the story. I have so much stories that, hmm, it could take many videos. That's your right, book? Yeah, but I will tell her. The woman who faced that or something <laughs> like that. Full of all of them. That's what Papa said. No, I never had a scratch, eh? They say when I fall and they went down to pick me up, I had not a scratch on me. I was in a coma for three days. And, um, uh, from coma to carpet <laughs> Yeah, I was in a coma for three days and they was preparing for funeral. We laughing um, now, but back after then. After three days, they come, um, ma, na, um, ma said they come home and they're cleaning up like they're going to have funeral. Hmm. What has to do? Yeah, I guess what I'm going to have to do. Hmm. Next thing they, they say was that and then they end up they coming said, back. They like said, how the lady um, was knocking on she covered. They said, um, they not sure if I would make it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't getting over. Hmm. So after three days, they come home and prepare for funeral. And then, hmm, I just wake up. Now you have four children and two grand. Yeah. How many years? 57 years later. Do you live under here, say Okay, five. <laughs> oh, and run out. And run out, six. And bite it. Oh, God. Too much. I need you. Yeah. 
Let's get jealous. Alright, so we'll see y'all in our next video. Bye!